it's Nyalicious here again. Thank you so much for stopping by on my channel. If this is your first time seeing this beautiful soul, click on that red button and subscribe. Without not taking much of your time, I'm going to show you how to prepare Nyalicious red tilapia roasted fish that you're going to enjoy with salad. Without not even using a barbecue, you're just going to roast your fish at home and enjoy it with this onion sauce beside it but if you've not subscribed to my channel please click on that red button to so i'll go ahead and skill cut out everything the fin the tail i'm using this kitchen scissors to cut out this fin here and i'll cut out this fin out so this part is always hard cut out this long fin here all the way through but you need to give it a space so i'll be giving it a little bit of space while cutting it and be careful because that fin is very very sharp i'll bring it a little bit closer because we don't need all that path So after cutting it out, now it's time for me to scale it. Just use the knife to scale it. You have to be careful while doing this. So after scraping this fish, scrape it everywhere. Make sure it's very smooth at this point. I'm going to go ahead and use hot water to rinse it. Even without not using lime, lemon, vinegar to clean this fish, the kitchen hot water will help to remove any sliminess that is coming out of this fish and make it nice and clean. I'm adding the kitchen tap hot water inside the stomach and the head that will help to clean out any blood at the middle of that fish. Now the fish is nice and clean. We'll be needing red and white onions. I'll add it into the food processor. And I have fresh rosemary here, which I'll also add to the food processor. Fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme and rosemary, just use what you have in your kitchen. And this is basil, just a little bit of it, also known as curry leaves. And I'll also be using this fresh spring onion, it's already chopped up, add it all to the food processor, cover it to do the job. The food processor was not making it as smooth as I wanted. If you want yours roughly blended, that's fine. But I'm just going to transfer this into the blender. And in here, I've got long chili. I've washed and removed most of the seeds out of it. And I'm not going to use much pepper for this recipe. The chili is not too hot. I'll transfer it into the blender and add a little bit of water inside it. Just to help the blender. And after blending everything smoothly together... You can always adjust the pepper to your taste. Now I'm going to add two nut cubes that has been crushed and I'll add one onga inside it. I'll add salt. The salt and pepper depends on your preference so I'm just going to add a teaspoon of salt. I'll add two tablespoons of cooking oil. And I'll stir everything together to make sure it's well combined. While I'm stirring it, I just noticed the oil was not enough. So I'm going to add another two tablespoons of oil, vegetable oil. After cleaning and washing the fish, I set the fish aside for the water to dry out of it, giving the fish a nice slant cut without not hitting the bone of the fish, otherwise you will cut the fish into two. Now I'm going to use this kitchen pepper towel to dry any liquid that will be coming out of this fish after giving it a nice slant cut. If you've not subscribed to my channel and you like this video, please click on that red button to subscribe. After giving this fish a nice slant cut on the both side, I'm applying the blended ingredients all over this fish. We're going to apply it in and out inside the head. 
you can feel free to use your kitchen brush if that's what you've got in your kitchen and this reddish tilapia fish coca some people call it coca is always more sadap like more yummier than the black and white fish and it's also a little bit expensive than that other black and white tilapia fish Use your hands to rub it if you're comfortable with using your hands but make sure you wash your hands immediately because of the pepper inside that ingredient. After applying the ingredients all over this fish, I will use this kitchen plastic to cover it and put it inside the fridge to marinate and after half an hour the fish is well marinated the longer you marinate the fish the better and i'm adding the remaining blended ingredient inside this ramekin plate which will be going inside the oven together with the fish i know you're enjoying this video please share this video with your family and friends let's transfer this fish into a preheated oven and we're going to be roasting this fish 18 minutes on each side depending on the hotness of your oven and keep watching to see what we're going to do with that sauce inside the ramekin plate Allow me to flex. This life I can't keep myself. Adding the remaining blended ingredients inside this pot with the liquid that came out of marinating the fish, transfer it to the stove and stir it together. This is the point you can adjust the hotness, the pepper, the salt and the seasoning cube the way you want it to be. So feel free to test it to adjust it and keep stirring it for like 10 to 15 minutes on a medium heat you would notice that the oil will start floating on top of it this is the onion sauce that we're going to use to enjoy the fish i'll go ahead and add this diced onions inside the sauce i'm adding white onions you can use any onions of your choice and i'm gonna squeeze in some lemon juice oh my god just like three squeeze of lemon juice inside it after 20 minutes the fish is not as dry as i want it and the fish has absorbed all the ingredients we applied on it before now i'm applying the ingredients that we added into the ramekin plate which was the first ingredient we used in marinating this fish at the first place make sure it goes all over this fish in and out you need a kitchen brush because this fish is very hot i'll cover it back the thing about this kitchen rack ngaga, is easy for me to flip this fish over put it inside the oven without no stress while the fish is inside the oven let's use this fish plate to make some vegetable salad i'm adding this shredded carrot that has been washed and cleaned before shredding it and i'll add some of this vegetable inside it if you don't like green leaves you can use cabbage depending on what you like and now i'm going to add the kidney beans baked beans inside it just Add the beans inside it depending on the quantity you want go back again with shredded carrot I love shredded carrot because it's always easy to munch on without no stress add some of those green leaves again on top of it going in with some cherry tomato that have been sliced just add the tomatoes in there and after adding some of those cherry tomatoes I'll set that aside. The sauce, I'm gonna transfer it into this ramekin plate. That is the onion sauce. Remember the onions, it's half done. The taste of this onion sauce is so amazing. And the aroma that is coming out of this oven. After another 20 good minutes, the fish is well roasted. It looks like it's a little bit burnt, but that's the way I like the fish. It's not burnt. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. And the salad is already here waiting. Guys, I'm going to transfer this fish 
on top of this salad just place it on top of there tell me who is going to resist this fish and salad take it to the dining table and do it some justice i just placed a lemon on top of it just to garnish it and i also garnished it with some sliced cherry tomato isn't that looking yummy you're not gonna need much lemon to enjoy this deliciously roasted fish because the onion sauce already contained lemon just wash your hands and dig into this fish if it is a fish i can eat yeah well roasted look at the inside the taste of this three-in-one goodness made me to almost finish this fish while standing up i was just eating the fish and singing squeezing some lemon and hear me sing <laughs> I can't keep myself. This life, I can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. If you care to join me with Iko Gika Iko. Iko in English means cheers. So cheers to everyone that watched this video up to this point. I love you guys so much. Bye bye.